there. Today we're unboxing a sliding miter saw. So this particular miter saw is by Evolution. The model is the F255 SMS. So it comes with a 255 mil TCT blade and that's actually a multi-material blade. It lets you actually cut a variety of different materials. They've shown a picture of a few of the examples. So copper, aluminium, steel, wood, wood embedded with na nails and even plastic. In terms of power, it's 1600 watts. The blade's included with it, which is great. You can do a variety of different cuts with it. So for example, you can do a cross cut, which they've shown here. You can do a bevel cut, miter cut, and a compound cut. In terms of weight, it's 15.4 kilos, so quite hefty. One of the advantages of a sliding miter saw is the fact that the saw can actually be pulled and it can cut larger pieces of wood. So okay, let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, it comes in quite a large box, so let me cut it open. Okay, it's got assembly instructions with it initially. So obviously you do have to put it together. It doesn't come ready set up. Got instructions. The blade. Put your arm on the saw, so the pull saw. Clamp, a few fixtures, and some foam. More fixtures here. Let's take these out as well. A few more here. And there you go, that's the actual saw itself. Quite a heavy duty bit of equipment here. If I pull it forward. Have a closer look inside. So let's take it out. The actual main saw in here and the remaining part is the actual table area of it. So let me put this to the side. The fixture. There you go, the actual bottom part of the saw, the table area where you lay your wood and obviously the saw comes down to cut it. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you receive in the packaging and the installation and assembly instructions are just at the side. So I'll show how to put this together. Pretty straightforward from what I'm seeing at the moment. So I've got this arm, obviously, the slider bar, place that in here. This locking mechanism is already in place. Got another one here. Looking at that, that goes at the front here on the actual saw. Okay, that's those two out the way. Got the actual clamp here to clamp pieces of wood if we wanted to. So that can go like so. And we can lock it in place with that. We're gonna have to take this off first. So you're gonna need an Allen key or relevant thing just to pull this off. So I've got so Allen key bits here and I can do it off a screwdriver. So looking at the picture, this comes off and then that comes off and the blade should just sit on there. The blade's just here. You carefully take that out. Show that if I can. There you go. 
multi-cutting, quite a large blade. Just slips into place like so. Got the top area, sit back on there. And then obviously tighten it up again. There you go, that's tight now. Next thing is, we want to slide it into place. So two areas here, that fits onto there. There you go. That's locked into place now, you just slide it on and it just locks in. So that's that bit done, that was quite quick. Okay, next thing is, we've got this fixture and a screw and that goes just over here. Okay, that's in place. Next thing is the side areas on the saw, so here. So again, screws like an Allen key. Just unscrew these. Okay, so that's attached. Let's check the other screw. Yeah, that's firm as well. Let's do the other side, it's a similar thing on the other side here. There you go. Okay, so the sliding mitre saw is completely assembled now. Let me quickly show Button you around here it. and here, for actually controlling it. If I unclip this, that will release the blade. You've got a locking mechanism here. So if I tighten it, you lift at the bottom, it won't move. If I loosen it, and then begin moving it. Sort of standard stuff. You've got a clamp here, so you can clamp your wood in when you've got it in place. In terms of sizing, it's quite good having these sort of extended sides just to give the extra stability when you've got wood on there. In terms of length of that area, end to end, you're talking 70 centimeters. The cutting area is enormous, so let me show that as well. So you're getting around 30 centimeters there. So you can easily cut large pieces of wood. In terms of actual sliding it, motion is quite good. Nice and smooth and has a really good build quality to it. You've got the locking mechanism at the end as well. So for instance, if you didn't want it to slide, you could literally just lock it like so and it will no longer move. So there you go. Basics, pretty simple. Comes with a three year warranty as well, which is excellent. Okay, so here's a size comparison between the new saw and the Evolution Rage 3. So that's my old saw. And here's the new one, much larger and some good design features on there. So one thing I missed out a couple of things actually so first of all the clip here the power cable feeds through that so it gives you the ability to just tidy the cable away and again just clip it if we look here on the side there's actually an allen, allen key it's a nice area just to store it and it's a rubber grip on there so it won't just fall out and you won't lose it i've attached clamps for my mitre saw stand just to show that but that's why it's so high up and there you go some very cool design features on it and again once it locks into place from here you've got the handle here and over here to lift it 
or even lifting it one-handed if you wanted to. It's not too bad. A lot of weight behind it. Okay, so I've got the miter saw mounted on the miter saw stand and we're going to try cutting a few items. So we've got some plastic piping here. Let's see what the cut's like on that. A nice clean cut on that, just to show. Okay, next we've got some MDF. The current cut is very clean on that, so let's see how it copes with that. Very sharp blade, very precise. Okay, next let's test this out on a piece of MDF. So I've got a small piece here, small chip there. Let's go in and see how it does. Again, spot on. Clean cut, no chips at all, very impressive. Okay, next I've got some plywood, I'm going to do a long cut on that, just to straighten it up. I've just clamped it because it doesn't go all the way across, let's check that one out. One side's come away. Fairly clean, quite a large piece of ply as well. There's the rest of it, a few chips on that. But still pretty good. There you go, a few bits have come off there. Okay, so I've got some MDF here, which is from a kitchen. This is a finishing strip, so it's laminated around there. So let's have a go at that one, see how the cut turns out. See if I can take the cover off on this just to show. No damage at all. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Okay, next we're going to cut a plastic strip for the skirting area for a kitchen. So this is from an IKEA kitchen. So let's secure it and go for it. There you go. What a blade. little bit I guess chipped there and the rubber's fine at the top so not bad not bad at all next we're gonna cut some hardwood some old hardwood removed from a door frame in my house previously and covered all in paint on one side no struggle at all with the thickness of that Cut wise, not bad, a few chips there. Just move on that side, just move on that side, and on that side as well, just a few on that. Okay, got a large piece of engineered wood flooring. So, a large bit of veneer on there. So I give you a, a sizing, a rough bit. So we're saying about half a centimeter of veneer and the rest is ply. 
so two centimeters thick and in terms of width we're saying 24 centimeters now this is the old evolution rage three cut and you can see it struggled obviously i had to spin it around and this is the cuts i was ending up with so when i was doing the flooring this would have been ideal this saw so let's place it in position there you go A clean straight club and few bits have come off and very clean what you could do to get a cleaner cut is just put masking tape across it and that will obviously protect it from chipping but there you go okay so let's try a couple of different types of cuts out one of the things to show is a recess just over here quite good when you're clamping pipes it stays in place quite well now if I come around here got a clamp and if I turn that I should be able to adjust the saw there you go now when you're doing cuts like this again be cautious about this area here if this scar is across here you will end up cutting it and if I show my rage I've already done that on that so just keep that in mind Obviously, once it's you've got the angle you want, let me tighten it up. So once you've got it, just tighten it here. Okay, so I wanted to get a full 45 degree angle on here. So just to show, this was in the way, so just had to pull it out and it moved a bit more to give that full. I've moved the clamp onto the other side and positioned the wood. Okay, all in position. Let's have a go at this cut. Very smooth, clean cut on that. Let's have a look at the main piece of wood. There you go. You can even see where they've attempted to fill it in, but very very smooth cut so no struggling at all with thick pieces of timber okay let's adjust the angle on this next with this piece of timber being cut so it's just a matter of loosening the clamp here holding on the trigger and pulling across there you go clipped in to 45 degrees perfect cut again there you go just to show the other end perfect again
Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this sliding miter saw. Simple to set up, no issues there. In terms of actual features on there, quite nice. It comes with the Allen key, so it can be stored away here. It's got some little features, like even the cable can be sort of tied around along the side. So in terms of power, 1600 watts on there and you can actually feel the ease of cutting through large pieces of wood so pretty impressive in there in terms of cutting uh, quality cuts are very smooth no real issues with that but obviously you've got to know this is a brand new blade which can actually cut through anything comes with a three-year warranty so there you go hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular Mitosaur, thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.